chicken, I'll rinse them off too, just to be safe. Um, so let's say if I don't have any butcher's twine, I might have to do this with no butcher's twine. And what I will do, I'm going to abscond this because I didn't bring one over. Season this bird inside and out if you desire. So what I may do, let's make a little slit there, crisscross those legs, and then pop them through that skin. And it's kind of like a makeshift truss. Now, alternatively, I always fold the wings under. Um, so a little bit of ID, you got the wings, you got breast, breast, keel bone, which is actually cartilage, drumstick, thigh, oyster sits right back here, right? And there's two long morsels of meat underneath the breast, we call the tenderloin. So again, remembering that the object here is compact, uniform shape. So after I've seasoned it, you can get rid of some of this fat too, it's not necessary. Um, can you tuck that back up under the skin? That? You know, you don't necessarily have to cut it off, especially since most of it's going to render and you want some fat in the bottom of your pan for your room. Well, that's what I'm saying, is like under the skin it'll baste it, right? Yep. Theoretically. It's called barding. So, chicken's facing away from me, or it's, it, the stuffing end is facing away, where its head used to be is pointing towards me. So, I'm like riding horses, right? <laughs> so, I've got it underneath the legs, and then you make it X. X. X marks the spot, Malcolm X, X rated, X ray vision, X whatever makes you remember it, okay? Expectation. So X, and then you push it forward and then under. Right? So I'm I'm tucking the legs in tight to the body. Not like somebody's gonna do this. They're gonna do this. This is not contortionist chicken. <laughs> this is not an Indian yogi mystic chicken. It is not a weird Marquis de Sade experiment chicken. Okay, so into the body, and then very simple, I'm just going to follow follow the body along, the ribcage along, pulling it tight, and then the neck, where, where its head used to be, off with their head, right? I just tie it around that. That's it. And then I can go back, if I so choose, and tuck those wings, tuck the wings under. So now I have that nice, compact, uniform shape that will roast relatively uniformly. So I see people doing all this weird crisscross stuff. I don't want bikini lines on my chicken, right? <laughs> I want an even tan, no bikini lines. So, let's do it again. Again, like I said, this is the simplest way I've ever seen this done. 